Hi Tulips! Um, today I'm going to be doing an experiment where we are going to be growing lima beans. So before we do anything, I would like you guys to think about what were the five things that we said that plants needed to grow. Because we are going to grow these seeds here into lima bean plants. So you tell me, can you guys think of at least one of the five things that we need for plants to grow. What are they? So the first thing we need is soil. We need air. Remember we need the carbon dioxide from the air for our plants to make their own food. We need light. Okay. And we need water, right? So we need water. We need the fresh air. We need light and we need soil. So what's going to be interesting about our experiment today is we are actually going to take away one of those things. Um, instead of growing our plants in soil, like we had done for our carrot plant, we are actually going to be growing our lima beans in a plastic bag with paper towel, okay? Now this is going to kind of act as a substitute or something else we can use instead of the soil because it is going to hold our plant in place. So what I did first is I actually soaked our seeds overnight, okay? I soaked them in water overnight. What this does is it allows it to start germinating. Now that's a fancy word. All it means is it's starting to grow, okay? So I did that. And unfortunately when I did that, one of our seeds fell apart. But um, it'll actually be good because I can show you what's inside the seed. So let me just move this over. And I can show you guys actually what's inside of our seed because it fell apart. So, if you see here, this here is our seed coat, okay? This is our seed coat. This was the part that was on the outside and this was hard, okay, and it helps keep the seed safe. Now again, it flaked off because I put it in water, but this is what the seed coat looks like. Now in, here's another piece of it. Um, inside the plant itself, I mean inside the seed itself, we have this stuff. This is actually the food that the seed uses to grow. And inside, it's hard to see here, but this curled up part right here, this straight line, was actually the beginning of our plant. Okay, this was our stem and our leaf of our plant here. Okay, unfortunately it's not going to grow now because our seed broke, but this is what it looks like on the inside. Okay, so here's our baby plant. You could see the little leaf was here, okay, and the straight line here was the stem. This stuff here was the food it was going to eat. And then here was our seed coat. So that is what the inside of our plant looks like. So now that we know that, we're going to put this together to make it grow. Okay, I'm going to make two of them in case something happens to one of them, so hopefully they will grow. Because um, we know our carrot plant experiment's not going so great, so I'm going to make two of these. Um, so that way we can hopefully have something grow. Okay, so to set this up, the first thing we need is the soil, right? Now again, we're not using normal soil today. So what we're going to do instead is we are going to put paper towels in the Ziploc bag. So we're going to think what else the plant needs to grow. What else does it need besides soil? Well, we know one of the things it needs is water. So I'm going to take these paper towels and I'm actually going to wet them. I'm just going to take a few. Oh, and there goes the roll. So we're going to give this to the guinea pigs. They like to play with this. Um, so I'm going to put this in the sink here. And we're going to wet it. This is going to be the water that the plants are going to get. Now, every day I'm going to soak this again in the water so that way the plants continue to have water. Okay, we want to get it pretty wet. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to lay this out. Hold on, let me just dry my hands before I touch our laptop again. I'm going to lay these out on these paper towels. Okay, so I'm going to make this into a rectangle shape again. And we're 
we're going to kind of make it like a little blanket for our seats. So I'm going to lay them out. I want to leave some space between them because when they start growing, we don't want them to grow into each other. So I'm going to leave some space between them. And then again, same thing. I'm going to cover them up, okay, to try to keep them wet. And then I'm going to put this in the bottom of our plastic bag. Now, I am not going to zip our plastic bag closed all the way. Why? Well, we want to make sure fresh air can still get into our plastic bag. Um, we know the plants need air. Um, so I'm only going to zip it a little bit because I also don't want it to start to grow molds. We already had that problem with our carrot plant. Um, the idea is I want to keep it from growing molds. So I'm going to zip it about halfway. Okay. That'll still let some air in, but it'll also keep it close enough that the water or the moisture from the water should stay inside. So I'm going to do the same thing with our other bag. I'm going to make a little blanket out of our wet paper towel for our lima beans use. Again, I'm going to make it like a rectangle shape. And then I'm going to try to space them far enough apart so that way they're not right on top of each other. I should give them some room to grow. Okay, and then the same thing, I'm going to fold it up to try to keep it, the seeds wet. So remember, again, this is acting in place or instead of our soil. Okay, but it's going to keep the beans in place and keep help them keep getting water so it will work similar to the soil. Now again I'm gonna put them ooh, gonna make sure they stay inside the paper towel. We had three fell out. <laughs> that is not good. We do not want that. They're never gonna grow that way. So I'm gonna put them in the bottom of the bag. And then oh my goodness, they're falling out again. The same as before, I'm going to I'm going to make sure they stay inside. This group does not want to stay inside the little bite here that I'm making for them. I'm only going to close it about halfway because I want to get some fresh air in there, but I also want to hold the water in, so we're going to close it about halfway. So, so far we have our soil taken care of, we have the water taken care of, okay, and we have our air being taken care of. So we have water, soil, and air. So what do we need to do to get this plant to grow now? We're missing something. We are missing the light, right? It needs sun. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to tape these up in the window. Now, the only fortunate thing here about doing this in my apartment versus doing this at Baby Steps is I don't get a lot of sunlight in here. Um, at Baby Steps, as you guys know, our classroom is very, very sunny. The way my apartment is facing and my windows are facing, I don't get that much sun in here. So these might take a little longer to grow. Usually when we grow them at Baby Steps, um, only in like three or four days, they're pretty much like grown already. It's probably not going to happen the same way here. It's going to take a little bit longer, but we'll be able to see the process and the steps it takes to grow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go tape these in our window so that way it gets the light that it needs. Okay, so as you see, I have my window. It is not sunny at all today, but we know the sun hasn't actually gone away. It's just hiding behind the clouds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to tape it in the window and hopefully it will get enough light in this window that it will start to grow. Make sure I don't tape the top here because we want to make sure the air is still getting in. So we don't want to tape that shut. So that's why I'm taping it from the sides. And what we're going to do in uh, about uh, on Monday is we are going to check and see if they have grown at all. And then we will check on them every day so we can see um, if this grows correctly. We'll be able to see all the parts of the plant because soil will not be covering up the roots. So we'll be able to see what the roots look like. We'll be able to see the stem and the leaves. And then later on, we might be able to see the bean part of the plant grow where the seeds actually come from. So I will leave this here um, and we will see how it looks in a couple days. 
and you guys can try to guess what you think it's going to look like on Monday before we actually grow it. And that's it. I will see you guys then. Bye.